This is CBS 4 News at noon. We begin with breaking news today. Police are trying to make contact with a man who is barricaded in an apartment. They say that person is armed with a knife. This is a live look at the scene near 74th Street and Harding Avenue. This has been going on since about 830 in the morning. Police say some sort of disturbance led up to this, but we do not know exactly what. We are also working to learn if anyone else is in that apartment with the person. We will stay on top of this story and bring you any updates throughout this newscast and online. Now at noon, President Trump is in South Florida. Within the next few hours, he is expected to take a tour of Lake Okeechobee. That is where he will draw attention to infrastructure improvements and environmental concerns. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us live with the details. Ted. Hi, Carly. Well, the top three Florida Republicans are going to be here with the president today. CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you for that live report happening now. Last minute preparations are underway for the weekend. Some people have been waiting for, others may have been dreading, but either way, we are just a few hours away from the start of the Ultra Music Festival. This year, instead of heading to Bayfront Park, more than 100,000 people will pack Virginia Key. And that is where we find CBS 4's Riel Creighton. She joins us live with a look at the festival's new venue and some new concerns. Riel. Well, Carly, you will see the lights, the pyrotechnics, sometimes even CBS 4 News. Riel, thank you. Going to be interesting to see how it turns out. Of course, Ultra is not the only thing going on around South Florida. We still have some spring breakers, the Miami Open. CBS 4 meteorologist Jennifer Correa joins us now with a first look at our forecast for what's going to be a busy weekend here in South Florida, Jennifer. Uh, yes, certainly a busy weekend, and it's been busy on the radar. Here's a live view out of the CBS 4 camera. Jennifer, thank you. New at noon, Miami police are looking for these two people, take a look at your screen right now. They say they used a cloned credit card at two stores, and the victim is the city of Miami's assistant police chief. We're well aware that we're not immune to being victims just because we wear the badge. I mean, we do feel a, a, a level of empathy with the victims and the community we serve uh, because most of us have been victims at one point or another, and unfortunate. We have seen this trend of economic crimes just kind of exponentially grow over the last few years. Well, this surveillance video shows the pair walking into a Bed Bath & Beyond on Coral Way. Police say they made a fraudulent purchase there using a copy of the assistant chief's card. Just a few minutes later, they did the same thing at a PetSmart next door. No word on how much the purchases are worth, but if you know who these people are, you are urged to call police. And a cold case murder out of Delray Beach has been solved after 20 years. 68-year-old Sandra Better was stabbed and bludgeoned to death in August of 1998. Fingerprints from the crime scene were saved, and two decades later, there is finally a match. Police near Tampa arrested 51-year-old Todd Barkett, who was going through a background check for a job. That's when his fingerprints showed up in the law enforcement database. I talked to the victim's daughters today. Uh, one of the daughters said that over the years, every time she heard of a, a DNA case where somebody was made on ancestry DNA, she would cut the article out. And she has a complete file of all the successful DNA cases that were made across the country. And she was hoping that one day she would get that call, and today was that day. Marquette is being held without bond. At some point, he will face extradition back to Palm Beach County. And new at noon, Pope Francis has signed new sex abuse legislation for the Catholic Church. It requires Vatican personnel and diplomats to immediately report allegations of sex abuse to Vatican prosecutors. This is the first time the Vatican has forced church officials to report allegations of sex abuse to authorities outside of the church. The church also issued new guidelines for protecting children after a wave of allegations against clergy members last year. And still ahead on CBS 4 News at noon from kickball to basketball. How the Miami Heat are helping a family who has continued to help others despite their own loss. Details on this family's special night. And even more trouble for Boeing. The new report finding another similarity between two deadly 737 MAX crashes. That's next. Stay with us. Local. We are following breaking news in Plantation. Police are on the scene of a traffic crash at 7000 Northwest 5th Street. Two cars crashed at that intersection. There are several injuries. Please avoid the area as police say the roads will be closed for quite some time. Now at noon, the Mitchell family is going from kickball to basketball. 
Over these past few weeks, we have shown you the incredible outpouring of support for this Florida City family. And last night was no different. The family has continued to host their neighborhood kickball games they started despite losing their home in a fire. Samantha, known as the kickball mom, and her children got to go to a Miami Heat game last night. They watched practice courtside before the doors even opened. Being, you know, coming from our neighborhood and everything like that, I mean, you know, can, never can imagine to take six kids with you to an NBA game. So that's like, you know, that's like a, a weight off my shoulder because it's something that they never experienced, I never experienced, especially not courtside. How cool is that? Also very cool, they got a $1,000 shopping spree. Well, there is more trouble for Boeing this afternoon. According to the Wall Street Journal, preliminary findings from the black box show a stall prevention feature automatically activated before the 737 MAX plane went down. Officials believe that is the same sensor issue that brought down a Lion Air flight in Indonesia last October. Nearly 350 people died in the two crashes. The Wall Street Journal reports investigators have briefed Federal Aviation Administration officials on these findings. Now in news across America, parents are demanding answers after a fifth grader died from injuries suffered in a classroom fight. This happened at a South Carolina elementary school. Ten-year-old Renia White was rushed to the hospital after she was found unconscious at school on Monday. She died on Wednesday. Her mother posted a photo of her on a ventilator and wrote, this is what bullying causes. Many parents are in shock. I thought up until now it was a safe haven for the, the little ones in elementary school, and apparently it's not. Well, the school district says the other student is also a fifth grader. So far, no charges have been filed. Wright's autopsy is scheduled for later today. All right, taking a live look outside this Friday afternoon, a bit cloudy out there. We saw some showers earlier this morning. The big question, of course, will those stick around for the weekend? Jennifer, we already talked about that. A lot of people well, may have plans this weekend. Yes, so they have been sticking around for today, and now that it's lunch hour, you definitely have to take the rain gear with you. I recommend the rain jackets because, you know, it's breezy, breezy out there to use the umbrellas. Uh, Carly, as far as those showers, uh, Staying around. Welcome back. Caught on camera, a powerful explosion in Mexico spews gas and ash more than 8,000 feet above the volcano's crater and down the mountainside. Look at that. Mexican authorities issued a red alert due to the increasing level of intensity. In the last 24 hours, Mexico's National Center for Disaster Prevention says it's observed more than 200 discharges from this volcano. Unbelievable video. Well, if you are heading to Disney anytime soon, you want to hear this. The park is making some big changes. Effective May 1st, no more smoking areas inside of the parks. Smokers will have to step outside of the main gates to a designated area there. And the other big change, no more of those extra wide strollers or wagons. They will have to be less than 31 inches wide. No word if Disney is actually going to be measuring your strollers at the gates, but just use some discretion there. CBS 4 News at noon will be right back. But first, here are the numbers on Wall Street. Before we go, some good news for your Friday. Reuniting lost pets and their owners could be a lot easier thanks to technology. How does it work? Simple. If you find a dog, you take a picture of her and submit it on a pet facial recognition app or their website. How cool is that? Dozens of people say it's already very helpful. That does it for CBS 4 News at noon. Thank you for watching. We will see you again for CBS 4 News at 5, 6, and 7.